hyper strong winds and intermittent cloud cover can only mean one thing in Miami Beach. It means pizza. Pizza Detective, Pizza 360, Pizza Worldwide. I may not be in an international city, at least for my American folk, but I am in an international destination, Miami Beach, and I'm staying mid-beach right now. Miami Beach has three distinct areas. It has South Beach, Mid-Beach, and North Beach. And I'm staying mid-beach at the Cadillac Hotel and Beach Resort. Check out the video. Pretty cool boutique hotel, upscale. I have a penthouse here, two rooms, nice oceanfront view. It is an energetic place to be. I'll put the link in the description below. Okay, so mid-beach, I'm looking for the best slice, and I am told, coincidentally, fortuitously perhaps, that it is in this hotel. Now, it's not made in the hotel kitchen, but it is made in the upscale and luxurious Italian restaurant that is connected to this hotel. It's called Donna Marie or Donna Mare. Not sure how to pronounce it, and frankly, I don't care. There are six wood oven pizzas on the menu, and I'm gonna order at least three or four. I'm starving. I'm gonna go down to the beach and order them. You can order the food out on the beach, and I'm gonna bring it back up here. Pizza 360, Pizza Worldwide, Donna Marie. I'm calling it Donna Marie at the Cadillac Hotel and Beach Resort. Let's do it. Right, the pizzas came, I ordered them down at the cabana and I came up here, there are four of them, count them four. I ordered the margarita, the pepperoni, uh, the ham, and then the four cheese. So we're gonna margarita and the four cheese. Traditionalist, you will be happy. Right, let's get right into it. We're starting with the pepperoni. Only six slices on this pizza, it has that weird oval shape. Uh, let me pick up one of these pieces. It has like the Neapolitan finish on it, it's slightly blackened. Immediately, I'm not seeing a lot of sauce. In fact, I'm hardly seeing any. I don't know, let's, let's go for it, let's see it. I sprinted back up here. One, number one, because I was famished. Number two, because I wanna get a good pull for video, right? Like pizza, that fresh pull when the pizza's just out of the oven, it's only good for like a few minutes, so I ran up here. I used my like 5.5 five closing speed. Just kidding, I did not run a 5.5 five in the 40. I ran a 6.5. <laughs> Hockey player. All right, let's take another bite of this. The pepperonis have great flavor. Um, there's some olive oil and a little bit of butter on this crust. Gives it a great flavor and I do like how it's blackened on the bottom. Pepperoni forward. Let me take one of these middle pieces. Look, ooh, this is gonna be a good pull. Okay, so hefty, hefty cheese. Great pepperoni coverage on a square piece of pizza. You know, square pizza is quite controversial in the pizza community. I feel you're either pro-square or anti-square. You definitely have an opinion on it if you're a pizza person. If you don't have an opinion on square pizza slices, then you are not a pizza person. You at least have to have an opinion. Um, the pepperoni is ultra fresh. So much cheese dangling off this thing. We definitely have a dangler going on. Let's go in. So, if the pepperoni is this cheesy, I am tentative as to what the cheese is gonna be like. The four cheese, because this thing is cheesy. No shortage of grease or cholesterol on this pizza. a little bit of sauce. The sauce is really light. It accents the cheese and the pepperoni. I wish the sauce was just a little heavier. Great crust on it though. 
The crust is um, buttery, has some oil to it. It's perfectly cooked. It's airy, but still substantial. It's a great crush. Let's see what we have next. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna use my deductive logic on this one and say that this is the four cheese. Looks like we have a dollop of cheese right in the middle. I'll just take a slice right out of that dollop. Let me dip it in there, okay? Look at that. Hmm? Hmm? No red sauce on this pizza at all. Zero red sauce. The gorgonzola is really pronounced. I typically don't like gorgonzola on my pizza because it's overpowering. This is burrata right here. Great for dipping. I'm a lot happier that it's burrata and not ricotta. I do not like ricotta cheese. And if, I will tolerate it in small amounts. All right, look at that right there. So this is a four cheese pizza, traditional, no red sauce, four cheeses, but traditionally in, a, in Italy, this is a cheese pizza. Wish it had some red sauce on it though. Close it up. Mm. Let's see what's next. Ah, the ham. A little dangling piece of ham right here. Okay. So we have some arugula as well. Let's get a good piece. Let's get this piece right in the middle. It's a proper piece of ham pie. Look how beautiful this thing is. So beautiful. Just some arugula, some mushrooms. Nice layering of ham. The ham is light, perfectly cut. It's a nice hand tossed, hand tossed? It's a nice hand tossed crust. It's not Neapolitan. It's more hand tossed. It is Neapolitan, but it does have Neapolitan characteristics. No red sauce on this one either. You don't know how much you miss red sauce until after you've had six drinks on an empty stomach and you sprint up the stairs. 12 flights, by the way. Really miss that red sauce. This is okay. This is better than the four cheese. This crust is well done. Let's see if you... You just hear that crinkle, right? You hear that? It's a great crust. Gets thicker as it gets towards the end. The ham is really fresh. This was a good one. 
What's interesting about this one is that it's got mushrooms on it. I've seen the arugula and ham paired together before, but not with mushrooms. Better than the four cheese. So I had one with red sauce, two in the middle with no red sauce. I believe the last one is gonna be your traditional Italian, your margarita, cheese and red sauce. Do not let me down, come on. Yes. Look at this thing. I'm gonna go right from the middle, I'm not playing around. Margarita. I don't want to like you. But you always spoil it for me. It's so good. I'm gonna take the best two and stack them together. So I'm gonna take one of these pepperonis, one of the margaritas, the two best, I'm gonna stack them. Okay, let's see what this does. Pepperoni overpowered it a little bit. It's not as good as I thought it'd be. There's a reason that people are not stacking pizza slices. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm gonna finish this for the cause, but they really belong independent. Donna Marie, Donna Mayer, don't know how to say your name. I ordered you from a hut down on the beach. Apparently you're really good. The best in mid beach, I'm told. I'm satisfied. 